BA 2015-16. So this one's a plan development request um, in the form of an amendment. Um, you may remember uh, three years ago we had a large development proposed across from Whitehead Auditorium on the PSU campus, which was the McAllister development. It took up most of that city block at that time. It was a rezoning request, a plan development request, and a historic preservation commission review. It was approved with a long list of conditions. A copy of that certificate is there in the packet. Uh, one of those conditions, which is number nine, was had to do with the expiration date, a uh, deadline by which point in time the development needed to commence, and a point by which time it needed to complete. We're coming up on the first of those deadlines, which is the date by which it needs to commence. And that is this coming February. And the applicant is here simply to request pre-approval of the development with no other changes except for extending that deadline uh, by two years, I believe, for commencement and three years to complete. Uh, so staff is recommending approval of it. Everything is exactly the same as was approved, uh, proposed three years ago except the recording of condition number nine. So it's approval with the same conditions with the changes to number nine as written there in the packet. So I'll go ahead and read that one. The development shall commence or by request for permits by February 4th of 2018 and shall be completed by February 4th of 2021. Otherwise, plan of development approval shall automatically expire. Glad to answer any further questions you might have. We did talk about this one in pretty good length of the work session. Does this mean we are re-approving all of the existing conditions? Correct. It's a it's an, um, a minor amendment can be dealt with administratively through staff because this is a pretty big change to the expiration date. It's a major amendment, which means it has to go back through the plan development process as if it were a brand new development. Um, we've tried to streamline that a little bit for you in the packet because nothing is changing in the proposal except their expiration date. So we're giving you copies of the Bulls development plans and the sort of original approval certificate from City Council which lists all the conditions of approval. Um, so we included that in the cover. I've attached um, a copy of the full staff report from three years ago at the end of your packet in case you want to refresh your memory and all the things we talked about back then. Um, so really it's just you change the expiration date of something that's already been approved. The HPC issues is a different story. As you know, it went through HPC three times um, with lots of discussion. Um, and at some point, we're going to have to readdress all of that. Um, the applicant really at this point is trying to get the plan development approval renewed for another time frame. And my recommendation to them, and they may not understand this yet, is when they actually get ready to build, um, they might have a few changes to the building that don't trigger plan development review, but might need HBC um, attention. And so we can deal with those at that time. There's still some question and some discussion there yet to be done. Any other questions for staff? There being none, is anybody here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward. Good evening, Chair, Commissioners. Bill Nigel, 1007 North Patrick Street. I am here on behalf of the Council of Development. Um, I still recognize some familiar faces from three years ago, so I know quite a few of you are familiar with this project when it first went through. Clapping, I know you are as well. Uh, and we really want to keep this simple, I'm not trying to get too far into the weeds on this project. Uh, of course, the deadline is nearing, so I have to commence construction, and then we've got a completion deadline two years after that. So it's really a simple request at this time to push those back um, to give the applicant a little more time. Uh, of course, you know, we've had. Those deadlines ran from the entitlements uh, with the zoning and with HBC. You know, after after those were given, uh, we did have to close on 12 properties, so of course that took some time to um, secure financing uh, for those properties. Uh, and then just the the economy where it was, um, you know, 
student numbers have decreased in DSU. So there are a few, a few factors uh, that are contributing to us being here today and asking for this extension. I do want to point out that Mills Buxton is here from the Council of Development. He's down from Charleston. And uh, Mills, why I'm happy to answer any questions you may have this time. Just, just to clarify, so you said the commencement would be February 16, 2018, Matt? February 4th of 2018. Currently it's 2016, which is coming up in a couple months. February 4th, 2018 is commencement. Right, that's and the when proposal is the to move that to is extend that one by three years from 2018 to 2021. So, okay. We're extending one by two years okay. and the other one by three years. Make sure I got that right. Commissioners, any questions for a presenter? Mm -hmm. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to speak in favor of the request? There being none, anybody wishing to speak in opposition of the request? Um, again, my name is Paul Randall. I'm at 110 West 4th Street, about three blocks from this plot. Uh, I didn't expect to speak tonight, but uh, <coughs> since the length of this extension is so, it's another two years, uh, I, I feel like you all should not allow this because uh, if you go to that plot, that whole block, right across from BSU, it hasn't been kept up for the last two years. If you give them another two years, these houses are all going to be falling in on themselves. There's uh, the upkeep. If they could guarantee and you could put in a condition that these houses are kept up to a proper standard where there aren't weeds and vines growing all over the houses, uh, it's an eyesore. And it's part of, um, I think, the problems that we have in an adjacent to campus now that uh, are, are putting a negative imprint on campus to people who and may be partially responsible for the, the number of uh, enrollment numbers that are declining. This project needs to go forward immediately, or not at all. They need to do something, or they need to work in conjunction with BSU to make it student housing, or do something with the project. Another two years is unacceptable, especially if the way that they have been using the property, and I don't think they've done it in fair and a good faith, and I don't believe that uh, you give them another two years, they're going to have it, because uh, all the trends right now uh, in enrollment look like it's going down, and this whole thing was uh, cooked up in the uh, heyday of the 15,000, 17,000 student uh, projections at DSU. It's just not going to happen. If they could give us some idea that, yes, this is going to occur in, uh, in the two years, then that would be fine. But uh, that would have to be, uh, along with that, there would have to be some conditions that they keep up the property much better than they have in the previous two years. I have a question for you. I, I, and I don't know, maybe you all know, are in, are in those houses presently occupied, they're all vacant? I thought, just from my own knowledge, they're all thinking. Uh, all done. Okay. So, so Matt, have you had any any response from City Marshals concerning? Oh yeah, this? it's been noticed. We have a new historic preservation planner on staff um, who has taken notice of the condition of the houses and it has triggered that as well as action from the City Marshals. And so they've been in communication with the applicant to maintain the properties and get it fixed up as any property in the city. And that's something that needs to be done regardless of any plan development. Are, are we talking just vegetation or structure? Um, vegetation, the vines mainly. And the Historic Preservation Planner has built um, a pretty good collection of photographs. Um, and it was very concerned about the condition of these houses. Or, and I had not realized it had gotten so bad until he pointed it out to me and showed me the pictures. And of course, then I drove by and was surprised. Um, but it's. You know, the landowner, they had to go through a long process to acquire them all. They're out of town, and I think to their credit, they just, you know, out of sight, out of mind. They've been busy with other projects, but I think knowing them, that it will be taken care of immediately. Thank and you. city marshals Thanks, will ensure that. I have a question to staff. Commissioner Gladden? 
is there a limit on how many times an applicant can request a renewal for a plan? There is no written requirement. Um, and keep in mind, this is plan development approval. It's an overlay. The property is still zoned CC. At any point in time, the owner of the property can forego the plan development approval and develop it according to the existing zoning, which is CC. Um, that always remains constant. The only thing that is, if you proceed with development under the terms of the plan development, then you're locked into that master plan, um, unless something changes. So even with the expiration date, the property does not necessarily have to sit and wait for that plan development to occur. Just like the past three years, development could proceed under CC zone. So that the property has more freedom. It's not like how we used to do plan development 10 years ago. Very different now. So if this were 2018 will come and the project's not moving forward, the applicant may have another opportunity to get a renewal for the same plans that they currently have. Right. They would have the opportunity to, and just like with this one, there's no guarantee that it would be approved. Um, typically, at least the tradition has been with city council to extend things one time. Um, beyond that, it becomes more difficult to gain that favor. Um, it's similar with the Historic Preservation Commission. Um, you need to have an awfully good reason. But in their defense, this is not a small development. This is 30 million plus large mixed-use building. There's a lot of preparation to be done on their end, which is why they're requesting a little extra time um, in terms of engineering and design and everything else to go with it. And that's also one reason, too, why staff is favored. <coughs> Normally, we don't like to extend approvals either, which is one reason why we like automatic expiration dates. But this one is a little bit different. So this February 4, 2018 is an attainable timeline? It is two more years beyond the original date, which is not a whole lot of time, lot considering of time. how fast the last three years have gone by. <laughs> Okay. Is it supposed to be, Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. It, is two years the limit on, on uh, extending the... Uh, well, that's what they have requested. Okay. And if you want to recommend more time, I'm sure you could do that, but um, that's just what they've requested. So we're following their lead, and we're okay with it. We use that. So, one more question. Where's your letter? Uh, at this time, there has not been any follow-up changes or anything to the actual <coughs> plans. Correct. I mean, a very slight modification from when City Council approved the plan development to when HBC approved the design of the new construction, but it is essentially the same thing. So it's still valid under that PD approval. Um, what we're showing you in the packet is those latest drawings from December of 2012, which is while it was in the midst of HPC review. Mm -hmm. You may recall we did some different changes to the roof line, but it was still the same magnitude, same basic design of the building, and all the uses within, and numbers of units, and so forth. So theoretically, the only thing we are looking at tonight is simply the expired expiration. Correct. They're proposing to leave everything exactly the same as currently approved. Um, or was approved, but changed the deadlines by extending them out two or three years. Or two and three years. Uh, would it be, <coughs> could it be added as a new condition to maintain and keep the yard clean uh, for this period of time, or is that? You can add that, but I, staff's opinion is that would be pointless. They have to do that anyway, regardless well, of any approvals. Okay, we okay, are just, already on notice, they are on notice, Any other discussion? Any other questions? If not, I will take a motion of request. Okay. Mr. Yeah. Chair, anybody in opposition? I did. Okay. I'm sorry. You, we, did you leave? I was asleep. <laughs> yes, go sir. ahead. I would like to make a motion that we recommend approval of this request uh, for modifying this condition 9 uh, to extend the project commencement. By February the 4th, 2018, and completion by February the 4th, 2021. Second. 
We have a motion by Commissioner Wiles and a second by Commissioner Bolson. Any more discussion on this? Everybody wishing to speak in favor of this request, please signify by raising your right hand. It also is in that Ms. Carmel 8-0 and Matt, I believe we come to the final request of the evening, sir, which is